so as far as i can tell it appears as if the apple app store and the google play store have had all transactions turned off within Russia ever since Russia decided to invade Ukraine. Part of the reason that these transactions were turned off is because these companies, Google and Apple, have denounced the horrific things that the Russian soldiers have been doing within Ukraine's borders. But I would say the real reason is because the sanctions that have been placed on Russia sort of forced American companies and other European companies to just not do business with them. And of course, the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store are American companies, as well as Visa, MasterCard, PayPal. All those companies have pretty much ceased operation, as much as I can tell within Russian borders. And so that begs the question, what happens with games like Rise of Kingdoms, where obviously the more you spend, the better you can perform within the game. And lots of players within Russia probably did spend money on Rise of Kingdoms because why wouldn't they? What's going on guys? Cheers. Hang on. Stop, 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 stop. Listen, you're not subscribed. I know you're not. Okay. 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. So statistically I'm probably right, which means you should probably go down there and click the sub button if you want to it's free if you don't want to that that's fine too i just i got hey i gotta at least i gotta at least ask okay right since the russian invasion of ukraine happened in february up until now there hasn't really been a way for rise of kingdoms players to make bundle purchases within the store you could to my knowledge you could update the game um the updates were still being pushed out to the app store but you just couldn't make purchases within the game within the game and you also couldn't purchase apps that costed money so as long as the app was free users could download it within Russia and as much as that restriction sucks for the Russian people who aren't necessarily responsible for what's going on in Ukraine people like me who live in the United States and in Europe see this as sort of like a good thing like yeah pr probably have as many sanctions as we can to prevent more innocent people from dying you know because fuck Putin but that's not the sentiment held by a lot of companies around the world specifically in China Chinese companies have continued doing business with Russia despite them going ahead and killing innocent people and look okay the United States is no angel okay we have our fair share of war crimes okay I'm not ignorant to that fact but it just seems like you know with so many eyes on this conflict it's like eh, probably don't support them but hey what do I know I digress the reason that we're discussing this in a rise of kingdoms video is because it looks like Lilith has partnered with a new company to allow Russian players to make purchases within rise of kingdoms and that company is known as exola which is as of recently a pretty big player in the mobile gaming market i guess they help mobile game developers connect players wallets to the in-game assets that they're looking to purchase and their partnership with lilith and rise of kingdoms was posted a couple of days ago over here on vk.com which as far as i can tell looks like a russian copy paste of facebook i don't i'm not that familiar with it but on may 17th they posted a new payment method available for rise of kings players they say welcome rulers happy to present you the official website for buying in-game kits in rise of kingdoms with payment options from russia at the moment you can buy sets of gems and supplies of accelerations and gems for 30 days just follow the link select the right set and enter your ruler id possible methods of payment so bank cards and then a couple of different what i assume are russian forms of payment or maybe chinese forms of payment you can only make purchases on the site if your game account was first registered in russia and you are within the country so you cannot use this website to make purchases if you live outside of russia or if your account was made outside of russia and then you move to russia you still can't use it we're waiting for your feedback on the work of the site and suggestions for improvement so let's go ahead and take a look and by the way this is in uh this is normally not in english okay normally it's 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 in russian and it was translated for the purposes of um, of taking a look at it here now this is the official apparently official website lilithgames.com you can't see the the bar up top here but it's rockexola.lilithgames.com so this is a real lilith website okay uh, and what you can go in here is you can see on the top here we have all of the different uh, bundles of gems that's essentially everything over here on the bottom here it looks like we have a 30-day gem supply and the seven day speed up supply and this is really interesting okay this is really interesting because the 99 us dollar bundle is 9490 russian rubles which is about 161 us dollars at the time of recording this because the russian ruble has actually been going up in value compared to the dollar 
dollar because the European countries are sort of bending to Putin's will to pay for gas in rubles we're not going to discuss the ge geopolitical situation and, and, and economics behind all that stuff okay all you need to know is that this is an interesting price point okay because if there are new sanctions uh, put upon Russia and the Russian ruble falls to record lows like it did just a few months ago are they going to change these prices how is that going to work um furthermore if you go ahead and try to purchase something here what you have to do is enter your user id now what they're referring to is your governor id which is right here it's unique to your account and this is interesting because the user id is public you can click on any player's profile in rise of kingdoms and see their user id which means couldn't you technically buy these gems for other players right i have no way of testing this because i don't have an account in russia and I don't I can't make one in Russia as far as I can tell but if you just drop someone else's user ID in here what happens right what happens do they just get gems can you buy gems for other players now that's kind of cool I guess but what about the refunding thing like what if you are in KBK and you're going up against a Russian Alliance and you go in here and you buy that members of that Alliance a bunch of gems and then you refund it how does that work does the player you're giving the gems to get banned for refunding even though they didn't make the purchases i have no idea how that would play out am i even able to buy anything on this website if i don't live in russia that's what i don't really understand and how lilith would actually go about um policing the refund abuse of this website that's that's what i'm curious about but regardless it looks like this has gotten a lot of players in russia talking about it there are tons and tons of comments here a lot of them being hey you should add different purchases for the game for example this player is looking to purchase the lucerne scrolls and that's not available on the website here there's other people who are looking for um you know the 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 research buff that was like the 30-day research buff there's people who are looking for the um, the daily special offer this is obviously a very good value for people who don't want to spend that much money um right now obviously buying these gems is not great right like obviously this is not great value from a player perspective but for players who haven't been able to purchase anything within the game for the last few months i guess this is good and the fact that you can buy these two things is is i guess decent value my question though is what about the pc version of rise of kingdoms right like is the pc version available in russia i would assume that it is because it's distributed by lilith specifically and not an app store such as the uh, you know google play store or the apple app store and if that's the case you know they do have purchases built into the pc version um if you go ahead and attempt to make a purchase here what it does for me is it pulls up a, a way to make this purchase with either visa mastercard or paypal all of these uh, to my understanding aren't functional in russia but what is preventing lilith from just offering payment methods that are available in Russia so players can make every purchase that they want within the PC version now I know that this isn't a great solution for everybody because not everybody has a PC where they can play Rise of Kingdoms on but uh it's just a thought you know what is preventing Lilith from doing that or if you're a Russian player is this possible can you use the PC version of Rock uh to make purchases within Russia I'm curious to know the answer to that uh but more so I'm making this video uh to sort of uh, you know primarily I want to get the opinions and some insight from you if you do live in Russia and you are able to answer some of the questions here uh, but also I wanted to bring this to your attention because you know this is obviously um one way in which Lilith is you know um, going out of their way to sort of bend their own rules to continue to support their players in Russia now is that a good thing well from a business perspective obviously it is they want to make as much money as possible they're a business that's like what they do um, but on the other side of the coin they are doing business with the country that a lot of the world is considering kind of uh in that um in that terrorist sort of scenario right now right like they're literally just like killing innocent people so it's like I don't know it, like it doesn't look great to support a country doing that at least for me as an American looking at Lilith going out of their way to do business in the country but again it's not the it's not the individual civilians fault that Putin is going ahead and doing this evasion so why should they be why should they not be able to make purchases in their mobile game you know what I'm saying so it's a weird gray area as far as ethics go from from my understanding of course I would love to hear from your like your opinion in the comments section below 
let's try to not get into arguments in the comments like i know this is a geopolitical you know topic and a lot of you guys are, are probably going to be very heated about it so let's try to not do that but i do want to know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section below are you happy that russian players can at least make some purchases now in the game and can continue playing and enjoying rise of kingdoms do you think that this is a, a bad thing that lilith is going out of their way to support uh, the the russian civ civilians i guess and would you want something like this in all versions of the game for example being able to buy gems for another player is that something that you think you should be able to do i think that could be interesting as far as you know hosting um or, or rewarding active members in your alliance with in-game options or in-game items i should say that would be a good incentive but then of course that that brings into the question of a refund abuse and things along those lines so i don't know how that would actually work but again i would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace